In order to add a Rockwell controller to a ProFace HMI, I'm going to configure some settings inside of the GP Pro EX software from ProFace. From the device PLC settings, I'm going to add a device. From here, I'll select Rockwell Automation, and I'll select my protocol, Ethernet IP. And from here, I'll give my device a name. This makes it convenient when I'm accessing the PLC, especially if I, if I have multiple PLCs um, from the HMI. And from here, I'm going to select my series, Compact Logics Native, select the direct connection, and I'm going to input the IP address of the PLC. I'm going to import my tag database from my L5K file. That's going to be brought into the software. I can hit the edit button to see the structure. I'm concerned with the flash input and flash output. Flash is the name of the block that I've enabled to be shared over Ethernet IP. From the RS Logics 5000 software, the first thing you want to do is configure the IP address. You can only do this when you're online. You go to the internet protocol, select manually configure IP settings, put in the IP address of the PLC, which is in this case 101, 192.168.1.101, subnet mask 255.255.255.0, and then select OK. And in order to create the flash block, you would add a new module under the Ethernet parent tree element. And you would type here generic to do a quick search. You would pull that up. And then from the settings uh, section, you would give it a name. In, in my case, flash. And then I would select dint, leave that as default. And you'd put in the IP address of the HMI, which in my case is 100. And then you would put in your assembly instances. In my case, I've already created one, so without recreating it, we'll go ahead and take a look. Here are the settings I used, and it depends on how many blocks you want to share. Now, if I say OK, this should you should confirm that by seeing the flash output and flash input blocks created. Flash input is the data coming into the PLC from the HMI, and I'm going to use a push button to toggle array 0 uh, bit zero, so basically the bool value right here. So I have a project already created, and here's my switch, and it's pointing to if I open up the tag database, here's the flash input block on array zero bit zero. And in addition to that, um, I have a, a input on the HMI reading a timer value. If I open that up, you can see it's coming from the output block at data element 0, which is a 32-bit value. So we can confirm that setting here in the program. Down here I have a timer value being written to the output block data 0. And that concludes the connectivity video with the configuration settings for the Rockwell controller and the ProFace HMI.